Hello everybody, my name is Matt and welcome to Your Programming Network's new series of tutorials on Photoshop. Now, we're going to go from the very basics of Photoshop right up to being quite advanced. So, uh, by the time you finish watching these tutorials, you should be pretty good on Photoshop and be able to do a range of different things uh, by manipulating photos or creating an entire picture from scratch uh, using different filters, layers, all the different techniques you can use. So, got quite a lot of cover, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up Photoshop. And uh, if you're new to Photoshop, then there's a few different sections and it can be a bit overwhelming at first. Uh, but it's all quite simple, really. Uh, you've got your, at the top, uh, in Windows, it'll be in the window, but on Mac, see it's at the, on the top bar, we've got our different tabs that we can select from to do various things and we'll come on to some of them later on we've then down the left hand side we've got our tool bar and this is where we've got all our different paint brushes stamps gradient text colors everything like that all goes on the left hand side and then probably one of the most important sections is down here is our layers channels and path section and layers is a section that once you get quite advanced, this is going to be one of your main sections that you play around in quite a lot, uh, combined with the tool section on the side. So if you haven't got any of these showing, then just make sure you do you go into Window, make sure you've got Layers selected, you've got Tools selected. Also make sure you've got Options selected. Options is the one up here, and as you select different tools, it will have different options options for those tools that you can amend showing up here uh, and those are the kind of basics of where everything's set out and so the first thing I want to do is just create myself a new document so just file and then new it's gonna ask me for the height I can put some preset heights in here if I want to do different types of paper and the resolution I'm just gonna leave it at 72 pixels per inch um, the colour modes I want to put have as RGB colour and then 8-bit. I'm not going to go to a higher bit rate uh, because so quite a lot of the different features we're going to do in the tutorials uh, can, can't be done in the higher bit rate bit. So I'm just going to leave it at 8-bit. Press OK. And it's going to load through my new picture. And at the moment obviously it's just a blank background. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to add some images into this. So I'm going to go to File, and I uh, you can either choose Open to open up a picture. Or I'm going to go into Browse in Mini Bridge, and this opens up this here, which is the Mini Bridge uh, window. Uh, and just want to click on this Launch Bridge button. Uh, the this uses uh, Adobe Bridge CS6 or whichever version matches with your Photoshop. Uh, and you should have it in most installations kind of as default. Uh, if you don't, then you can obviously just kind of open them up by going to File and Open. But uh, the bridge lets you just see all of your images in the file quite quickly. And then when I want to drag a picture in, so I'm going to take this picture of me with a camera on my head. Uh, I'm just going to click it and I'm going to drag it into my window. And then I can click on the different things to adjust it. If you hold down shift when you're adjusting it, then it will keep the same proportions. And then when you're happy with how it looks, just press enter and it will drop it onto the page. I can still pick it up and move it around if I've got the move tool set up here. If you've got something else selected, it's not going to let you. But if you've got your move tool selected, you can still pick it up move it around. And if you change your mind about how big it is, press Control T or Command T uh, and it will give you your option back to move it up and around like this. Uh, you can also rotate it by going slightly out from one of the corners or from one of the edges and you just pick it up and rotate it around. And holding Shift will mean it locks to particular angles of I think it's 15 degrees, yeah, 15 degrees, you can see up there. So I'm going to 
put it on its side, why not? Press enter and then it's done. You can add in multiple pictures. So let's say I want to add in this picture of me again, I'm a bit vain, uh, and of in the your programming network t-shirt and I want to make it, let's just make it a bit smaller, that's a bit big, press enter and click and drag it across and you can keep adding different pictures in as you go along and what you'll notice is down in the right hand side in your layers section each one of these pictures has been added, oh double clicked by accident, each one of these pictures has been added in as a new layer if I want to go back and adjust any of these pictures, so let's say I want to adjust the picture of me with a helmet, I click on that picture in the bottom right, and then I can click move that one around. And then this one here, if I need to click on that one, click and move that one around. If I've got them slightly overlapped like this, and I actually want the other one to go underneath, then you just need to click and drag them in the, in the layers pane to go underneath it. So I'm going to pick up the top one, I'm going to drag it underneath the bottom one and you'll see then that this layer now overlaps this layer. So it's like putting down layers of paper over the top of each other. You just need to make sure that the one you want in the foreground is at the top and the one you want in the background is at the bottom. If you want to hide what's in the foreground just tick on this little eye view and it will hide or unhide the, the, pit, the layer that you're looking at. We're going to come more onto layers in coming tutorials. For now I just want you to understand that each image you add in creates you a new separate layer. Now we've got our images on here I just want to save this picture down so I'm going to go to file, save as and I'm going to save it into my documents let's make it open up a bit and then I want to save it into Photoshop tutorials and I'm going to create a new folder new folder and then I'm going to call this examples and in here I'll just save it down as tutorial 01.psd so the standard format for a Photoshop file is PSD format you notice down here I've got Photoshop format selected this is how you want to be saving all of your pictures but if you want to be producing your pictures to other people, you want to save it as this, and then you want to save it as either a JPEG or a ping or a bitmap or any of these, whichever one you need to put it on. So normally for the web, you'd use a ping or a JPEG um, or just to upload onto the internet or something. So make sure you're saving it as the right file because the PSD file saves all of your different layers, all of your different filters. And uh, If you just want the image, then you want to save it as a, as a different format. I'm going to press save and then now that's saved down. And that is the basics of just creating a quick Photoshop document. And the coming tutorials are going to go more into how you use the different layers as well as adjustment layers to put different effects the same way Instagram would. Uh, and we'll go into how to use the different tools down the left hand side uh, along with the different filters. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the tutorials, please click on subscribe. Uh, and if you want to download all the PSD files, they'll be available on the website in the description below. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.